Jaring of Victor Brere. Um, I'm going to do this in English since there will be um, international viewers on my Raspberry Pi channel. Uh, this is a pre-built microbrewery I bought it used, so, but this is my first try. It has Raspberry Pi inside the control panel, also a key lock to control the heaters. Uh, because the relays actually leak a little bit, uh, power if it's left on. I have a 3 kilowatt heater in the spot water tank. I have two 3 kilowatt coils in the boiling tank, but no heat in the mashing tank. So that's why I made a recirculating uh, loop that goes from the spot water tank down through the mashing uh, water and back into the spot water tank so that can stay on during the mashing. And I think I set it up correctly so it will actually turn on and off to keep the, uh, the mashing temperature correct. But time, time control. Now I'm just fixing the legs and some other stuff that the previous guys uh, didn't prioritize because they wanted to drink instead of fixing. But once this is all set up, I'll be back to boiling some water and trying to program for an IPA brew. So, oh, filling the spot water. And we can probably start heating. And if this looks a little bit industrial, it's because it's my garage. I shoved all the bikes up there, they're usually outside, but it's snowing. And I have a couple of other projects. But now, brewing. So, <clears throat> now my water is 60 degrees. So I need to transfer the water to the mash tun. I don't have any mash. Let's pretend. So I'll start pump number one. This valve is open and the bottom valve is open. That to bring me the water across to mashing. Now that water is 60 degrees. I'll transfer it all into the mash pump, pretend I'm mashing. And then I'll have to add more water to the spot water tank. To use for spotting afterwards and also for the heat exchange while we are mapping. So that is a new thing that has never been done on this system before. So all the water has been transferred. I will stop the pump. Now we are mashing. So in order to mash we need to start the other pump. And we'll have circulation in the mash. This open, this open, this closed. This one's open. And we can start the pump. We have circulation. I'll take off this loose neck. And we'll have to add the recirculation thing to keep the water in the mash. And we need more sparse water.
So now, if I start pump number two again, I will get hot water from the spot, water tank, heating, into the mash tun. <coughs> That's the idea anyway. Now I have boat pumps running. I have the circulation for the map is running. And I have the circulation of the spot water to heat it up or to keep the temperature. Now we'll see if the heat free circulation will help because then the mashing should get closer to what we have in the spot water tank. So these should be more or less identical if my heat exchanger loop works. Looks good so far. So the mapping temperature is constantly rising because I'm using the heating loop. It's not always a success. What remains to be seen is if I can keep the temperature. If my temperature is too low. So, sponge water heater is, has been on for a, quite a while, five minutes, slowly creeping up to 78, my set point. Mashing has been running and has only decreased by one degree for that period. Now I started the circulation again, it's been off for five minutes, so now I have both pumps running. So both the circulation for the mashing and the circulation for the heat exchanger so now we should see if we manage to bring this up from 51 to something more that would be good okay now I'll stop the heater circulation and I'll transfer the water to the boil tank so first I need to take off the circulation loop so I can have more spot water into the mash that is near from Sadisan. So stopping that pump and I have to dismount it. And I'll transfer my mash to the boiling partition. So, pump is running. I just open this valve and close this one that should bring it over. So now it's being pumped out from the bottom of the mash tun, coming out close to the top of the boiler. And of course, while we do that, we can also do the spotting at the same time. Okay. 
first, we'll do the top to the mouth order. And we're ready to do some boiling. and the spot water has been added to the boiler tank. The two heater coils are running and we'll wait for that to <coughs> start boiling. We're now at 58 degrees. Target temperature is of course 100. So let's see how that works. Took bloody long getting it to last 20 degrees up, but it is definitely boiling. It's definitely warm. It boils at 99.19 degrees, so I guess we have special water or something. And I didn't slot my fan, so that'll be next, but it is installed and ready. Now I have concluded everything works, it's fine. Need to set up the IPA recipe again because I fumbled the pumps, but other than that should be okay. Now I'll just dump this water, of course, through the hose going to the drain. Otherwise, when getting ready for fermentation, that will be out here and into the fermentation <coughs> bucket.